What is up, YouTube? This is Intense Designs, and today I will be showing you how to make a speed art <coughs> for. Well, not a speed art, I mean banner for YouTube. So, listen, I know a lot of people that can do this. A lot of people, of course, and uh, it's super easy. And some people find it hard. Like, oh, you'll be surprised how many people can't do this. So, um, this is a beginning tutorial for um, to how to do it. So, it's pretty simple. So first you're going to have to get um, the YouTube um, template, the YouTube banner template, that will help you to start off, um, you need it so, yeah you need it so you can make sure the size of your art, channel art is the right size, so yep, you'll need that. After that, now you're going to need to get some nice fonts, that's you want to get into GFX, you're going to need some nice fonts. As you can see, I got a lot, I got quite a bit of fonts, and uh, yeah. So you want to go get some fonts from thefonts.com, link will be provided in the description. And uh, yeah, so, um, also, if you want, this is not, you don't have to do this, but, you know, get brushes. Brushes are your friends, and they'll help you a lot, you know, you know what I mean? So, you need brushes. That will. You can make. When you have brushes, you can be unique, make your own things. You don't have to go on Google. You get your own background or something like that. So, an example of a brush would be. Something like that. Or something like that. Anyway, they're really HD, high res. Um, I'll have a link in the description for that as well. And anyway, so. Let's get started. So, first. Um, I'm just going to do my banner. How I did my banner. I'm going to do it exactly how I did it so what I did first oh, so when you first start on Photoshop what you're gonna have to do is when you have the template that's good make sure your settings uh, let's go image uh, image size make sure oops okay go make sure your settings are on 19 20 by 1080 okay make sure your settings are on that because that's the HD setting uh, mine wasn't on that I apologize but uh, anyway, that's what you need to do. Just make sure it's on 1920 by 1080. Alright. After that, you want to go to... You want to go to... um. You want to get any background that you want for your thing. For your... um, Any background. Any background that you want. Just go on Google, go to stock. Get textures. Whatever you want. Just drag and drop into here. Okay? So, I am not going to do that. I'm going to use a brush. So then... Say I assume that you've got your awesome fonts by now, some sexy fonts. Now you want to enter them into Photoshop. So make sure your text tool is selected. Okay, you. I assume that your thing is on 1920 by 1080. That's the standard font. Make sure it's HD. Make sure what you do is between here and here. So that will be seen on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure other devices too. So I'm just gonna write my YouTube name. I wanna write in. Uh, I'm just gonna write in black. But first, I'm gonna go to my brushes. Uh, I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna go get a nice brush. This stuff is really simple, but it's just like people think it's so hard. And, you know, once you get into it, super easy. Super easy. People have been asking for tutorial, so here's a tutorial. Don't complain. All right. <laughs> anyway, so I wanna make this gray. All right grayish kind of like my youtube banner so oh, oops okay okay all right i reckon that looks pretty that's just my i like that okay i just think that looks pretty cool now what you're going to do is get your text as you said before i assume that you've have you have your awesome background from google or textures and now you're just going to Alright, make sure mine's white as I no black, I mean. So intense designs. This stuff is um 2D 2D um GFX. If you want to get into 3D GFX, that's a whole new story. That's that's the stuff that's kinda hard. That's the stuff that will take you time to learn. And it's really not that easy. Uh Cinema 4D, I used to be. I'm pretty good at Cinema 4D, I just got I just got sick of it because the render times and all that. So I just like 2D. So this is 2D. Uh, I might have a tutorial on how to use Cinema 4D later. But anyway, so make sure the thing is in. And you might be like, 
Oh my god, now how do I move it? You go control T. You go over it. Control T. And you can move it, whatever. Make sure you hold shift as you expand, despand, whatever. Expand. Okay. Like this. Then okay, now, um, now you've done that, you might be like, I want my text to look kind of cool, so, what I'm going to do, this is a basic tutorial, so I'm not going to teach you too much, because I'm not going to go too in-depth, so now I'm going to duplicate mine, this is what I do, so what you're going to do is you enter, okay, hold on, my thing's lagging, you're going to enter, right-click, duplicate layer, okay, so I assume you've right-click, duplicate, not that hard, and then put it behind, okay, mine's behind now, <coughs> now, I'm going to go, click on the copy and I'm going to go filter alright one more time click on your copy image put it behind the intense design put it behind your first text in front text and put it behind then you go filter blur Gaussian blur okay and you can see there's like a nice blur effect so you can make that more or less spread bring it in I like that yeah that looks good and you might be like oh but now I can't see the text or whatever now you're going to go to your main text in front Gonna double click it. Here is a lot of things. I'm, I'm not gonna get take you into that yet. This is just a tutorial, basic tutorial. So I'm gonna click stroke. Once you click stroke, all right, you might be like, that doesn't look good at all. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna change the color of the stroke. All right, you're gonna click stroke, change the color, white. All right, you're gonna make it white. Now I have this nice effect around the back, and uh, yeah. So now it kind of looks has depth of 3Dness, I guess you could say. I'm gonna go back to here. I don't. I'm just gonna adjust the blur a bit more. You can do that if you want. Yeah, that looks good. So this is like so simple. People pay for this. People pay. Like people always like, oh yeah, I'll give you ten dollars if you. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. So I do it. I take the money because they think it's so hard to do it themselves. But um, it's very easy. And here's your tutorial. And that's about it. But if you need help, just write in the comments below. I'm going to be having a PC gaming PC giveaway um, by the end of this month. Yep. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure. What's the date in Australia? 24th. So, by the end of this month, I'm going to give away a gaming, gaming PC. Stick around for that and make sure you like the video, subscribe, and yeah. So, that's basically it. That, I would actually upload that like that. I would do a little bit more like, okay, if you want to finish it off, I guess, you're going to click right here. I hope you have CS6, okay guys? I hope you do. You can get CS6 character, but don't. It's bad. Okay, so create new gradient map. And you're going to go hit gradient map here. Click this. Then you'll be like, okay, so this is full. It looks pretty cool. I don't know, there's a lot of here. You can make your own. Whatever. Then you're going to make sure you're clicked on gradient map. The one, This is the gradient, the color. And you're going to change this to soft light. I don't know, it kind of gives it a nice... I don't know, nice crisp, crisp, crisp effect, okay, so, that's about it, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of tools here you can use, this tool, um, if you want to, like, add something, you just go like this, oh, hold on, that's white, let's, like, make it a different, okay, lag it up, okay, no, nah, that's good, that's good, okay, sorry about my computer lagging, I don't know why it does that, you know, take it all the way. It's a rectangle. This is just basic to things that like help you a lot. Then you're gonna get your text tool. You're gonna put the text down, way down. It's too big. Too big. Oh, you know how to take. This is how you take it down. You just hold. You over this and just zzz, whatever you want. Too big, obviously. I hope I'm making sense. I don't even freaking know. Just freaking write it in the comments if I'm making sense at all what I'm doing. Just bear with me. And uh, then you're gonna make it this white. Make, get a um, font of your choosing. I like uh, running writing font for this. I'm gonna go speed art. All right. Banners. And oh, sorry, blue. And um, GFX. Okay, and then I'll just drag it to the middle. Kind of says a little bit about me, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, uh, I'll also yeah I also put stuff how to make the outro for YouTube. Yeah, so 
if you like this, just give me a thumbs up, because I have no idea. If like if no one likes this, I'm seriously not gonna continue. I don't have time for that shit. Uh, so anyway, that's it. And thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this helped you. It's very basic, very short. I'm pretty sure. Um, just that's how you make a banner for YouTube. Um, everything will be provided in the description. So thank you for watching. Enjoy and peace.